Well, howdy, Pilgrim. Howdy. And welcome to another rootin' tootin' episode of Old School or New School with your hosts, old rootin' tootin' shoot 'em up Nick and hang 'em high Lance. It's a Lance the Kid. Lance, that Lance the Kid worked it well, Lance. <laughs> The many moons ago. <laughs> Lance, the, the, the ex-kid. Yes, yes. Uh, once was a kid. 40-year-old mm-hmm. kid. I, I still like Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we decided that we wanted to go and do a, um, a new old school or new school. Um, we uh, realized that we had not done westerns and mm-hmm. that it seemed like a lot of the remakes were like horror movies. And we didn't want to keep doing horror movies. Mm-hmm. Um, so I got to pick. And I was like, hey, Nick, let's watch True Grit. Mm-hmm. Um, and we watched the 1969 John Wayne version and the 2010 Jeff Bridges version. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's funny because I didn't think anyone was going to watch this. And then like in a meeting earlier this week, somebody brought up both movies that we were going to review. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. And I was kind of like, oh, we're, we're doing a review on that, like, like, like tomorrow. And they're like, oh, cool. And then, then they were like, oh, you know, I'd really like to see like this. And I was like, we did that video for Memorial Day. So it was like... Oh, for Saving Private Ryan? Yes. Okay. So, who, so who knows? Um, maybe we get an extra viewer or Sweet. two there. Thank you, Philip. Um, and Tracy. Um, maybe Fred. I don't know. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, as normal. Yep. We, t- we tend to score early and... Then get into the meat and meat and grit of it because it's kind of hard to talk about which movie's better without talking about what's going on in the movies. We we get into the the true the true grit of it. The true grit of it, yes. <laughs> uh, the grit and potatoes, as it were. Yeah. <laughs> the the true grit and potatoes. What they what they call them? Corn nuggets. You ain't, you ain't no bigger than a corn nugget. Oh, maybe. It's like that. I wonder if that's a those little corn bread things. Yeah, they were they were shooting around with whatever yeah i'm not sure but uh anyways Mm -hmm. um yeah we're going to give it our ratings yep we're going to do the old one first Mm -hmm. then we're going to do the new one and then we're going to get into all kinds of spoiler territory it'll be uh up up front here's what we think Mm -hmm. score wise and then discuss Mm -hmm. because we tend well i tend to ramble on Mm -hmm. and we feel I, i ramble too yeah, and we, and we feel like uh, it's uh, worth your time to get our ratings on it. And then just turn off the video if you want to. Mm-hmm. So, um, so uh, yeah, here we go. So, Nick, mm-hmm. the 69 version of True Grit on a scale from 0 to 10, what would you give it? I'm going to give that one a 5. <laughs> Did you go too low? Yeah, I went way too low. I didn't feel like you were going to like that one at all. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah. Worse than Blood Rain? I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just I didn't feel like you were going to dig like the western like at all. Mm. I'll, I'll um, get I'll get into what I enjoy of it, what I don't. Okay. Um, are you going to allow me to change my other guess? Uh, the your, the guess has not been locked in yet. Feel free. Uh, as you give your guess or your rating for uh, the sixty nine one. Sixty nine True Grit. I'm going to give a six. Yeah, I, went, I went a little high. Yeah. And I'll and I'll go into why. Yeah, I'll go into the next um, one. Um, so Nick. Yes. On a scale from zero to ten. Yep. What would you give the 2010 True Grit? A uh, four. <laughs> did you have a Did you have a four before? Yeah, I put it in the back. <laughs> What's the new one then? Is it also a five? No. Oh. So. What'd you give uh, the uh, 2010 one? I would give the 2010 one a. Well, I gave a seven to the. Mm-hmm. I'd give it an eight. Okay. At seven and eight, because I figured you'd like the new one more because it has Jeff Bridges. Yes. And, well, yes. Yes. <laughs> um, it's, got so, the, it's got the dude. Oh, I love me some dude. So here we go talking about it. It's on Amazon. Uh, Prime, so nice, nice and nice and quick, easy to watch. Mm-hmm. If you have someone that's got a Prime account, mm-hmm. um, and they're both there. Yep, and they're both pretty quick watches. I think uh, it's two, two hours, hours about two hour movies about a piece. Yeah, so the new one's a little bit shorter, but edging on edging on two hours. Mm-hmm. All right, you have been warned. Yep. So I started with the old one first, 
Mm-hmm. And, and it was going through the opening credits, like, with an old song or whatever, like, but going about, about true grit, I'm like, okay, whatever. And then, uh, like, the rating came up, rated G, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Not what I expected from a true grit, but I know, like, all the ratings weren't back in 69, but still, like, this mm-hmm. is a G. I'm like, okay, it's rated G. Mm-hmm. Then the movie starts with a hang and I'm like, okay, rated G. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I mean, it was like, the hang was like, what, t- 10 minutes in? It was a little bit in. Yeah. It's, it starts with um, the father kind of coming in and here's all the things I'm doing and here's my gun and then he goes into town to get shot mm-hmm. and then Maddie goes to town with um, the servant or whatever mm-hmm. and to a hanging. Yeah. And it was like the thing that was like the movies back then I guess because like people that they were like oh yeah all the hotels are like booked up people came into town for the hanging. Yep. I was like okay well I guess that's like fucking that's Broadway. And it's people sitting around like this. Was there like a vendor going around or something too or something like that? Yeah, probably. Like, oh, it's peanuts. Here's your peanuts. <laughs> Wash the hanging. Yeah. All right, rated G. Well, I guess that's the back in '69 with all the all the people coming up with cowboys and Indians or whatnot. It was mm. just kind of a thing for kids. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. There's, it's it's fun to throw rocks at criminals, I guess. Well, do you know what? So when True Grit started, I'm like, okay, well, is this one going to be like PG-13? I think it's just PG. I think that one was at least PG-13. Maybe, maybe it was PG-13, but it was... The other True Grit, I'm like, that didn't advance much. I was expecting, like, a movie called True Grit when you were like, hey, Nick, let's watch True Grit. Like, this is a this is a movie with, like, Jeff Bridges. And I'd seen, like, trailers or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or it looked like he had grizzled old um, Jeff Bridges and, like, a, a younger a younger child or whatever, like a, a young woman, who I, was, I guess I was expecting her to be, like, eight or whatever. I guess misremembering from trailers. I'm like, okay, this is going to be, like, a... Something awful happened to this girl, and he's got to like protect her or some shit. Yeah, it's PG thirteen. Okay, um, so I was expecting like an R rated movie, and then the first one started up G, and this one was like PG thirteen. My, like, these aren't going to be nearly as hard as I thought they were going to be. Yeah, um, it, it's you know spaghetti westerns back in the day, um, especially since I think in sixty nine like John Wayne was like old. So he was uh, in his sixties and in sixty nine. Yeah, he was closing in on the end of the uh, leading man action hero mm-hmm. uh, movies. So they were just like, uh, you know, you ride a horse and be a cowboy. And he's like, I'm not jumping off a fucking horse. I'm not doing any of this shit. And it's like, how about if you're just an old drunk? He's like, I can do that. Hey, uh, <laughs> right up my fucking alley. I have an old... <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, so um, both movies are high for me mm-hmm. because. Um, one of my fondest memories was watching this movie with my father when I was when I was a kid. Sure. Um, when my dad moved in with my grandmother to take care of her when I was a kid, and I remember on his bedside he had this tiny TV that was about this big, and it was an old black and white TV, mm. and we would just lay in bed, and he would lay on one side of the bed, I'd lay on the other, and I remember just kind of laying on his fucking like hip and shoulder and just like watching the fucking TV with him, and we would watch a movie like before we'd go to bed. And um, that was one of the ones that I remember very fondly, like, watching with him. Mm -hmm. Uh, So that one will always be right here. Mm -hmm. However, to me, the new one has a more succinct storyline. I think it has better flow. Um, Mm. It cuts out, like, the chaff of him going, I'm going into town to do the blah, and I'm going to do this thing and do that thing. Mm. Where they kind of, like, they skip over that, tell you what happened to this point, and then they just go straight into Maddie's story. And so I think that's one of the things I didn't like about the newer one was them starting with narration. I'm like, ah, oh, my dad went to town and died. I like that you start with like you see the father. Mm-hmm. You don't like start in the in the in the uh, the Undertaker's office to be like, here he is, dead. You can kiss him if you want. You can like, kiss him if you want. Yeah, and you could sleep here tonight. And you can kiss him if you want. Like, okay, I don't, this guy, this guy's weirder than the other one. Yeah. The other one was at least like, oh, here's your father. I mean, it's it's he's okay to kiss or whatever. It's it seemed less creepy than than than, than the newer one or whatever. Oh, people were fucking weird back then, especially. Like... Yeah, sure, especially the Undertaker. But it's, it's it seemed unnecessary. Like he, they go into town. There's this event going on. I liked mm-hmm. the way the older one dealt with it, and I also liked older Maddie more than the newer Maddie. Really? Yes. Well, it's mainly uh, the reason I gave this movie a five versus maybe like a four or whatever because I thought Maddie was really cool. Right. Where she like walks in and is just tossing around like her negotiating style, like this is happening, this is happening, and she like took no shit whatsoever, and she was she was amusing to watch. Like the the scene I really liked in the old one was when she went into the kind of the pony deal or whatever, mm-hmm. and kind of laid out all the deals, and eventually he's just like, fine, I'll take it. And just like, get me some paperwork, and she's like, here it is. All ready to go because like she had everything. She knew exactly where she wanted the deal to go to the point where it was written down in words already. 
because she knew that was the deal she was going to get. Yeah, and okay. I and I like that. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, she was she was she was a hard nose, mm-hmm. like very shrewd, but like you could tell that uh, her father raised her to be like that second, since the mom mm-hmm. wasn't really yeah. uh, going to be that. Amber made that observation too, and I was like, oh, that's true. Um, what I also really dug about uh, the new one is you had Jeff Bridges as Rooster Cogburn, mm-hmm. uh, Haley uh, Stenfeld as Maddie. Uh, we had Matt Damon as LaBeef. <laughs> Matt Damon. Yeah. Josh Brolin as Tom Chaney. Mm-hmm. Uh, Barry Pepper as Lucky Ned Pepper. Yeah. Um, who, who got taken out by a sniper after, you know, Memorial Day. We watched uh, him being a sniper taking out people. Yeah, when he showed up there, I was like, hey, Ned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, it's the fucking, it's the sniper. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know if you caught it or not, but uh, the voice of Lawyer oh, Daggett. Of course. Oh, okay. Of course, I didn't know that voice anywhere. Yeah. It was, yeah. Um, I think, it, was he uncredited? Uh, so, he's way down at the bottom. Okay. But yeah. he is, he is credited. Oh, yeah, J.K. Simmons. I mean, his voice came up. And I, I guess I was annoyed. A little bit. Because I, I liked that in the other movie, mm-hmm. she was throwing around, I got this lawyer and all that. I'm like, so it calls into question, like, does this lawyer even exist? Right. To the point at the end of the movie when he comes in, it's like, I'm the lawyer. And everyone's like, hey, look at that. <laughs> he does exist. <laughs> he fucking exists, yeah. yeah. I, I liked the, the, the turn of, like, her throwing him around and it being kind of like a twist that he, he does exist. She was being truthful. Yeah, I, I, I like in the new one when she was like, I'll have my lawyer Daggett come. And he was like, she draws that name like a gun. Yep. <laughs> I, I loved that line. I thought it was yep. so good. But yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I felt like the new one got rid of, like, you didn't need to know that dad was going to go into town and do this. I didn't need to see Homeboy shoot her dad. But what I think it does give you is you see the killer. Instead, in like t- five minutes into the movie, instead of an hour and five minutes into the movie, or whatever, however long it took for him to eventually show up. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's true. Um, Which I, I mean, I, mean it's, I guess it doesn't need to be there, but still, you you know who the who the the antagonist is or whatever mm-hmm. immediately, as opposed to like her having tail of it's this person. You know, you, you see him. Okay, I mean, I. I get that, mm-hmm. uh, but I liked the stuff they added. Like I, I liked that they added the whole. Um, I liked the conversation between her and the horse salesman better, where he was just like, "I'll give you two hundred dollars, not a penny more. You could take it or leave it. I care not for which one." Mm-hmm. And then she was like, "Okay, well, I'll do this. Here's the money." And then he was like, "Okay." And then she goes, "You know, what are you going to do with the horses?" And he's like, "I'm going to sell them basically to a glue company for ten dollars a piece." And she's mm-hmm. like, "Well, I'll buy this other horse from you for exactly ten dollars." And he's like. Okay, well, then, and then he goes, wait a minute. <laughs> Are we negotiating? Like, he was so confused, and, like, the way he just stopped and looked at her, he was, like, frightened, like, fuck, what am I, what am I going to talk myself into now? Yeah. Um, I loved that guy. That dude was fantastic. Um, and I, I still like the old interaction a little bit better. I mean, it's, it's, the movie was well written. Mm-hmm. I knew that you would like Maddie's character. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I don't want to jump too far ahead, but I like the I like the conclusion of the movie better too, because to me it was more realistic. Whereas I like the older conclusion better because it's not as fucking grim. Yeah, but I mean it's like Wild West. Yeah, no, that's why I don't like Wild West shit. Yeah. So the less realistic version, like of course this is what, like of course she lost her arm or whatever, but like that's not fun. I like that she pulls through and then like you get to see uh, like you know after, at the end of it like I mean the beef dies or whatever. But he might as well have died in the, in the newer one, too, because he gets bonked on the head, cuts up, and is like, I'll see you later, and then he's out of the movie for the rest. Of the so he may as well have just been dead, because who the, who the fuck cares? He's out of the movie. I think she his, narrates his, him. She narrates. Like, I don't even know where he's at at this point in time. I'd never heard from him again. Right. I assume he went back. To, so he, why keep him alive? Yeah, no, I feel that. Um, I feel like LaBeef in the old movie definitely lived. Um, no, he died. Like, out in the range? He, he pulled him out of the hole, slopped off the horse. They went to check on him. No no pulse. He was dead. Oh. Huh. So they killed the beef in the old one. They didn't kill him in the new one. For, I don't know why. It's, I just, I liked that it was more realistic that she lost her arm. Because, mm-hmm. like, you, sure. you know, they did the whole, like, su- tried to suck out the poison thing. But from what I've seen, that's like an urban myth. You yeah, can't you really do much with that. You don't put your lips on 
I mean, he did the thing where you like you bleed it out or whatever, and like you're supposed to like cut off the blood flow, but you don't don't, yeah. don't put your lips on an open wound. Yeah, it's probably by the time uh, they got her there, it was like it already probably started eating up her arm. And it's like we have to take it at the fucking elbow. Mm-hmm. Um, but I liked seeing that. I liked that when she got to the circus, mm-hmm. Rooster had died, you know, already because mm-hmm. that's just to me, it's just. The West was fucking dirty and gritty and nasty. Mm-hmm. And to me, it was a more complete Western tale. Because, like, if you, watch a, if you watch a Western and you leave it with, like, a, you know, the happy, happy feel feels, you didn't really watch a Western. Mm-hmm. You know, like, everyone's running around with fucking guns. I, I really feel like in America, we're about to figure out how it felt like back in the West, Wild mm-hmm. West, uh, here it is. But, um, I don't know. Like, I like Jeff Bridges. I just liked all the actors. I thought it was like a more of an earthy feel. I fucking loved Josh Brolin, his character. Like I thought he was fine. I thought he was mm-hmm. good. Uh, Tom Chaney, um, Barry Pepper, I thought was very good. Although I would like to point out, I don't know if you saw in the older version, mm-hmm. who uh, who Pepper was. What's his name? I, I look. It was not Harvey Keitel. Uh, Robert Duvall. That's the one. Yeah. And that surprised me when I went to go go back and watch it. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh fuck, that's Duvall!" Like, I did not remember that he was in that movie at I all. I think I saw him in the credits, and I'm like, "Robert is like that Robert Duvall." So I looked him mm-hmm. up, and I'm like, oh, "Okay, that was that one." Yeah, and he was good. He was very, very mm-hmm. good. Um, but yeah, I also like the hanging part better. Don't make your kids do the things that I did. And the other guy's like, "I shot the wrong man, otherwise I wouldn't be up here." Yep. And then the ending, you guys like, I was in there just like, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whereas I like that one less, I suppose. Really? Because the, the the man crying over I, I've seen that shit before. That's not that's not particularly it, that's not particularly interesting. But the thing I haven't seen before is everyone gather around a hanging, and being like, "I oh, we're doing a hanging," and everyone it being jo- a jovial affair, mm-hmm. as opposed to the grim affair that where people where, where people were taking it a bit more somberly. Like yeah. I think it's more impactful when you've got like the. It's just, like you said, like going to a movie or whatever. People mm-hmm. are like, look, they're hanging. And then you just kind of move on with your life. Like it's people came into town just to watch people die and be like, oh, that was fun. <laughs> Let's go back to farm. And, and what? It's, it's, it's fucking awful. Yeah, it's grim. But yeah, it's just, it's, I wanted you to watch this movie because I knew that you had not seen either one of them. Of course. Um, I know that. And I probably, I probably won't watch them again, honestly. Oh, it's. I like. I like True Grit, mm-hmm. the old one, but the odds of me watching it are slim to none unless Jack wants to watch it. Mm. Um, the new one, I'll probably watch again just because I like Rooster Cogburn in that in that version. I love how he basically let off the horses to let LaBeef basically sneak in and then basically headed those guys off at the pass. I love the the, the view of like him riding in with holding the reins in his fucking mouth as he's basically just two gunning it. Um, I thought that was great. Hmm. Um, it's just, and I also liked the, um, the rattlesnake scene better in the new one where she saw the body, saw the knife and was like, okay, maybe I can get that. She rips the shirt and you see like the thing coiled up and the shirt like guts. Mm-hmm. I thought that was great. Uh, I thought that was fantastic. Hmm. Um, plus I'm just a big Coen brothers slut too. I fucking <coughs> I love the Coen Brothers. I don't. I don't think I. I don't know all their movies, but they. So they're the ones that did Fargo and that that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm never as into those movies. Yeah, it's so. I have. I do have a love hate relationship with the Coen Brothers. I loved. I liked Fargo. Mm-hmm. I hated Raising Arizona, but that is like a movie that as soon as I say that, when people are like, "You like Big Lebowski?" I love the Big Lebowski. Uh, I loved Fargo. I liked A Simple Man. Like there were a lot of movies. That I liked. As soon as I get to Raising Arizona, and I'm like, I didn't like that one. They're just like, fucking what? Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. It's Nicolas Cage, sure, but everyone is so fucking stupid in that movie. It's <laughs> irritating. Mm. It, it just it drives me nuts. Um, but yeah, it's just I knew I wasn't going to have any other opportunity to get you to watch these movies. Yeah, probably not. And I mean, I didn't complain watching them either because I'm I'm not. I'll let you know ahead of time. Like, I'll watch these movies, but be prepared for me to to not like them. I was kind of on board. Honestly, I'm surprised you gave them the rings you did. That's because I think if I was going to watch any of them again, it'd be the older one. Just because I like there's tape pull out scenes that I enjoy more. Because obviously, the newer one is, looks better, mm. I and mean, that's not a fucking contest. 
I uh, mean, yeah, it comes across, you know, 40 years later, of course it looks better. Is the acting better? Of course the acting's better. Um, are they names that I recognize? I mean, of course. Like, I don't, I don't recognize, like, I know John Wayne. Everyone mm. else, uh, I guess, besides Robert, Robert Duvall, Duvall, is essentially an unknown to me. Hmm. So I don't, I don't Glenn know. Campbell was Labeef yeah. in the original one. Singer. He's a singer. Yep, no. but, was, um, he, was he a country singer? Yes. That's, I, I don't, don't listen to country. That's fine. Um, but, I mean, it's a bunch of people I've never fucking heard of. Yeah. For the most part. Um, whereas in the new one, like, the beef was Matt Damon. I'm like, yeah, it's fucking Matt Damon. <laughs> All right. Matt Damon. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty good. And the beef is a fucking perv. Yep. He's a creep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In, in both versions, mm-hmm. it comes across as he's a fucking uh, creep. And But they seem to make him, make Maddie more cool with him in the... And the newer one, as the old one, she's done with it. She was done with this shit immediately, mm-hmm. and only warmed up to him like very late in the movie. Well, I think whereas as... in in the newer one, she warmed up to him a lot quicker because she was seeing how Rooster was treating him or whatever. Well, not only that, but I think it was also she was seeing through. Like the very first thing they said was like, "Who's the meanest?" Oh, that'd be Rooster Cogburn. Man likes to pull a cork though, and I think mm-hmm. when she got on the road with him, she was like. I'm not sure this guy can do it, mm-hmm. you know, because he was just, he was, uh, when he fell off the, so when he was looking uh, at the fucking ground, mm-hmm. and then he fell and he goes, what'd you get down there to look for sign? <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the trail, like picking up the track or whatever. Like he was fucking drunk. Oh yeah. Um, and they were called corn dodgers. Oh, those I little just, little biscuits or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh. I think they were called Corn Dodgers. And then they started doing the contest of flinging him up in the air and trying to like shoot him or whatever. Yeah. It's like, I can hit it, whatever from a, whatever he throws, he throws the bottle. I can hit it from here and just pow, pow, third, pow. Third, third shot he hits it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I love Jeff Bridges. The only thing I did not like about Jeff Bridges in this particular movie is it was hard to understand him a lot. I, tar- I turned on the subtitles. Oh, okay. Just so, Just because I wanted to, like when he was telling the story about his wife. And running, the, you know, the 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 place they had, like I wasn't understanding any. <laughs> but like the thing I did notice that I appreciated mm-hmm. is that when he was drunk or hung over, he had a heavier accent. When he was not drunk and hung over, he spoke more clearly. Mm-hmm. So there was like some commitment to the character there, where it was like when you're drunk, you fucking slur, yeah, and you sound fucking horrible. Because um, when he went to court. And he was doing the whole thing about the people that he was defending himself in court for the men that he he had killed. Like he was, he spoke somewhat clearer, clearer mm-hmm. there. Um, but yeah, I, I I think that the whereas I think I think I like the older older court scene better too. Well, it's John Wayne was a more charming character, mm-hmm. um, but like I got the sense that he was like. I don't know, just John Wayne is just John Wayne in most mm. of his movies. Yeah, but I've seen him in probably one movie. Yeah, I and mean, it's, and it's True Grit. I don't watch I don't watch Western movies. Yeah, I've seen a lot, no. and and I know he's a problematic person now, but I would also say that. I mean, if you look back fifty years, of course, you better be looking at people as they weren't as enlightened air quotes as people are now. Yeah, because progress. If you look back 50 years ago and go, we should be living like that again, mm. maybe you're the problem. Yeah. It, 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 no, I agree with you 100% there. Um, I don't know. It was... I don't, I don't know. It, it's... Would I watch this movie again? Totally. Like, mm-hmm. I just... I thoroughly enjoyed it. I love... I, I just love... Car- I, I want to get you to watch a certain movie, but I know the only way I'm going to get you to watch it is in it is in a have you seen yeah and then i don't know how i'm going to get you to watch it because i don't think i have the dvd i might i know which one you're you're talking about tombstone yes i've i know nothing about that one is that a original movie or wish it had a vampire in it so i can get you and amber to sit down and watch at the same time hey look if we're doing uh western the 93 one yes with kurt russell and val kilmer wait wait is there another one no i'm just because there's Tombstone dash Rashomon dead in Tombstone the house on Tombstone Hill. I'm just asking like is the 90, 93 is 93 it? is the one with um, Val Kilmer and uh, Kurt Russell. Freevee Paramount Plus Prime Videos. Yeah, yeah, Prime Video. Well, Paramount Plus Prime Videos channel. So I wonder if maybe it's on Prime 
Amazon Prime if you've got Paramount Plus or something like that. I would imagine so. If it's not, I'm pretty sure I have that one on DVD. I'll send you away with it. But like, I want Amber to watch it because I, she does not like westerns either. Yeah, no. But I'm going to try and make sure that Jack likes westerns because westerns are they're fun. You know, like they've always been fun to me. It's like that good old hanging at the start of them. No, it's just, I love the idea of living in a simpler time where it was just basically, if someone fucks with you, you just shoot them in the fucking face. And I know that's a big problem <laughs> in our society right now, but, <laughs> yeah. but it was like, I love the idea of a time when the land was lawless and you basically had to go in and, you know, like if you really think about back then, it was like, okay. You came here, you stole a native people's land, then you saw them as pesty yeah. <laughs> as you tried to run them further and further off the land that they've lived in. Um, and then you also have other people, the immigrants who came to the country, that are like trying to fuck with you about where your land is. You know, like it's just, it it's, had. Oh, people are awful. Yeah. And, but I mean, this is like when we were in the height of our, how awful we were. <laughs> You know, and it's just interesting to see those stories where it's like you're trying to carve out civilization, mm -hmm. but there's nothing civilized about it. Mm -hmm. And I just, I've always found that is very interesting. Um, and like I always used to say, like, oh man, I would have loved to live back then, but like you get a splinter and you're fucking yeah, you're dead. dead. Yeah. yeah. I, I, then, I mean, I think the more realistic thing is would be her getting bit in the arm and just being dead. I mean, it was very much a possibility. Um, that was the other thing I liked about the new one, and you could correct me if I missed it in the old one because I did watch it kind of late at night, the mm -hmm. old one. But I, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I stayed awake the entire time. But like basically, when they killed Cheney and they killed Pepper, mm -hmm. when she got bit, Cogburn just threw her ass on a horse and rode right by both their bodies. He didn't try to collect the bounty on either one of them. That's correct. He was all about basically getting her to the fucking mm -hmm. sawbones. Yep. Um, and I loved that because. You know, she did, she's she's terse, mm -hmm. but you have to fucking respect her. Like, I think the movie was less about the men's true grit and more about hers. That's her, yeah. The movie's about her. Yeah. Yeah. Maddie was the was the one that was, like, the glue that bound everything together. Um, I liked how she, like, tried to diffuse the stuff between Labeef and fucking Cogburn when she was like, have coast, you heard the story the about the midnight uh, caller? Mm -hmm. You know, I'll do all the voices, so one has to be the caller. Like, I liked that. Um, I did like in the new version where she was less about hating on Labeef when she realized she kind of needed him. Because when he left the first time, mm -hmm. she's like watching him and she's like, we don't need him, right? Mm -hmm. And he's like, his rifle will be missed. Mm -hmm. but that's about it. You know, like, it's just... I th Whereas I think in the older movie, he was a little bit more incompetent or whatever. He was the, the more the more ready to shoot or whatever. Because he's, mm -hmm. he's the one that opened up on... He's the one that bro ruined the trap. Yeah. And that he started shooting before they were ready. But those guys weren't coming in. Oh, no, no, no. Which I think I like that about the older one, too. Is They're like, oh, they're going to come up to this house and just walk inside. And the older one, they were, or the newer one, they're just going to walk in, walk in the house, whatever. But in the older one, they kind of go and they had their call sign where they all stay on the other side of the river and they'll do like their whistle or something like that. And mm -hmm. like, if they're not whistling, just you two go check it out to make sure it's not a trap. I enjoy that they were ready for it to be a trap. Okay, yeah. And if I was a DM in that situation, you'd be like, you fucking... <laughs> You just know because we're here. I'm like, no, some people are just cautious. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I would have called your ass on that immediately. You, you, you would not like the old movie version of that, or the fight to go that way. You'd want it to be the new version. They're just supposed to walk into our trap. It's like, why are they supposed to? Like, every time you guys walk to a building, we're like, okay, we're going to hang back. You go scout, look at the windows. It's just like, it seems like we're always the ones walking into traps. No one ever walks into ours. And it's because we have to share that information with the GM ahead of time. What are you going to do? We're going to do this, this, and this. Well, uh, they don't. They don't fall for it. <laughs> like, what? What the fuck, man? Um, but yeah, it, it's... I knew you were going to like Maddie's character the most. Mm -hmm. um, I like the part. It's it's an underrated part, in my opinion. But I, I really love the part of the two Indian kids picking on the donkey. And oh, Cochran yeah. just throws their ass off the fucking <laughs> yeah, porch. because they're, they're being rude to the donkey. And then on the way out, he kicks the kid off the... The, the boy the off the porch the again office. because he was the instigator. Yeah. Yeah, like, I just, I, plus, you know, like, Indians, who needs them? I'm a Native American, so I could say that. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to put context in that, motherfucker. I don't know, I'm just, I'm Edisto Indian, I'm Cherokee, so. Mm. Um, but, yeah, it, it's, uh, plus, I'm also Lebanese, so if you're, like, right now, like, that motherfucker's not look Indian, yeah, I'm a mix, I'm American, I'm an American mix. Mm. Um, 
whereas I'm like French Canadian, and that's most of what I. <laughs> yeah, and then everyone's like, "Go back to your country." It's like, motherfucker, you are built in a country full of fucking migrants and fucking people who just like fled here. There, there is no your country unless you're straight up British. Then you're just going to go back to England. We all just need to leave and give it back to the native people. I want my, I want it. Give it, give <laughs> give it me. to me. Yeah, no. I'll just leave like a quarter of me here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's. It's. I knew you were gonna like Maddie the best. Mm-hmm. Um, I knew you were gonna like the grandma a lot. Did, did I? Old mom. She don't take up much room, and she used to people sleeping up there with her. She made it over in both versions. Yep. She was annoying in the er, annoying to Maddie in the new one. Yeah. Whereas in the old one, she was just kind of there. Fucking cover thief, man. What's in the in the old one? It's like that woman is dead. <laughs> in the in the newer one, it was like she was like a. She we only, we only ever saw her like sleeping. I think. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, you know, small part. It's like, it's, we, we're all full up on rooms. You have to share the room with this woman. And you see, like, the Grim Reaper lying in bed. Like, a woman on, like, woman on death's door with, like, a, come in, join us. It's like, I'll be, I'll be here in a minute. It's like, oh, God, <laughs> death is looming over her. Yeah. The reason, also, I say that I think, like, the new one had a more uh, full storyline is I liked... That they saw the guy up in the tree that was getting his eyes pecked out. Mm. They cut him down to see if it was, in fact, Tom Chaney. Mm-hmm. And they were just like, okay. And then you had a dude that found the fucking body. Like, the Indian guy yeah, came up, came, basically came like, I'll take this. Hey, can I have this? And then sold it to another fucking dude for the teeth. And then that guy tried to sell the fucking body back to him. He's like, I took the teeth. Yeah. But the rest of the body, we could talk over. Yeah, that dude was fucking weird. Yeah. Um, I don't... I mean, it was. I guess it was interesting seeing the the... Here's a person that we come across hanging or whatever, like frontier justice or whatever the fuck, mm. or they just hung up a dude. Like, let's go make sure it's not our it's, guy. It's not our guy. So that that's interesting enough. But like the bear man coming up, going, I got this body, my god, why is this scene here? You got anything warm? I got my bear fur. Are you asking us to shoot you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that dude was just it was a bit much. But that's what Cohen Brothers they they like having interesting characters. Yeah, so that's I, why you had the guy that was like, you can kiss him if you want. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's things where I could see, like, we don't need this. We're like, here's an edition. We don't need that edition. Here's an edition. We don't need that. I wonder if it's maybe, because it's a book. Mm. So I wonder if it's, like, closer to the book. I'm not going to read it and find out, because I don't give a shit. But I'm not either. I like Rooster, though. I think he's an interesting character. I, I, I like him a little bit better in, in, the, in the older one. The other thing I really liked is I like the cat. Yes. He, they did a lot more with the cat yeah. in the old one. They, they, they absolutely, like where he walks in, like here's my dad and here's my... Uh, what was Colonel it? whatever, is, Colonel Nubbins or whatever the fuck yeah, his ger- name is. General something or other. Is yeah. my, well, the father was the was the store owner and then like it was, his, and here's my son and it was the general whatever. Yeah. I forgot. He's not going to be credited. No, not. I mean? <laughs> but, I then, but then, you know, they go sit, I like that they're playing cards and like, I don't know. I like I like the build up where she's like I'm negotiating with uh, Rooster Cardburn mm. more in the older ones as opposed to the new one where she just kind of like shows up and she talked to him in the outhouse and apparently that was good enough because she showed, shows up to his place and being like here we go and I'm like I I enjoyed watching her negotiate that was fun because mm. it kind of showed her 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 grit more I I suppose her determination yeah. her her stick to itiveness yeah yeah um, I found the old actress a little bit more annoying though. Maybe I like also, Haley Stanfeld. I think she's just cute. No, I, I like the older one better, but the older one was also twenty one when they shot the movie, hmm? playing a fourteen year old <laughs> or fourteen year old girl. That's how they do. Yeah. Whereas in the you know, in the newer one, they're like, no, we got we got someone that was fourteen, someone that actually, I guess, looks more the part. Although even in the sixty nine one, she still looked young. Mm-hmm. It's like when the dad walked in, I'm like. Yeah, well, that's a, that boy is a high pitched voice. I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's uh, the uh, I don't know. I it, if I agree with you, mm-hmm. I agree with a lot of what you said. If I this movie had not been nostalgic for me, it mm-hmm. probably would have been a little lower mm-hmm. because I've seen a lot of westerns and there's a lot of really good ones out there. Rooster Cogburn is just it's it, okay. Yeah, um, I don't like Labeef. He's terrible. I, I don't really. Yeah, like Rooster Cobber and, and LaBeef are, are kind of whatever. I, I enjoy yeah. these movies because of Maddie, and I enjoyed the older Maddie more than the newer Maddie, which is why I like the older one better than the newer one. Yeah, no, I, I get you. Yeah, it, but I don't know. It, it's I totally respect 100% what you said. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say that if you like your movie to be more kind of arty, 
the new one is probably for you. Yeah. If you want more of the dialogue and stuff, mm-hmm. then probably the older one's for you. It's like I also liked a lot of the artistic things they did. I love that Rooster's bed was like where his belly was. It was fucking sagging yeah. in the middle. And, you know, I just... I, I mean, even in the old one, it was just ropes, but they sh- I guess they showed how worn down and awful it was in the newer one. And the newer one definitely had more of a feel to it. Mm-hmm. It felt like they were at loco- locations rather than on sets. The yeah. old one felt like, Here's, here we are out in the woods set mm-hmm. or whatever. And, they, and here's one like, we're just in the fucking woods. Hmm. Yeah, but give it a go. Eh. I'm I'm hit or miss on whether you should watch this one or not. I think it's if if you don't like westerns, I don't think this is going to change your mind. There's better westerns. But if you are in, uh, if you want to see like a, a grim, determined young lady, kind of like I don't know, pull her muscle around and be like, no, fucking listen to me, motherfuckers. I know what I, I know what I'm about, and I'm paying you for a job. Mm-hmm. You accepted my money. These were the terms of the contract. Follow the fucking contract. I mean, it's it's. it's it, She's fun. I like her. Lawyer Daggett. Lawyer Daggett. Lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still I so much, much appreciate it in the older one version. Like when he shows up and he's like that little, that little, little man. And he's just yeah. so, it's so much funnier than just hearing like J.K. Simmons like respond in a letter. And like, eh, that's, yeah. I guess he's re- but we'll, uh, we didn't even get to see him at the end. Yeah, I, I did like how John Wayne reacted to him. He's like, I'm Lawyer Daggett. And he's like, he does exist. <laughs> well, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's it, there's something to be said for the older one. Mm-hmm. Um, very nostalgic for me. Um, I don't know. I just I love yeah. Jeff Daniels. That's like I forgot it. you and me here, and then we flop it up and yeah, yeah. It's... To the point where I think they were still within like a point. No, I think you gave the newer one two points over because it was six to eight to six, right? I think so. And mine was like four to five, so they're they're definitely still. Close-ish to each other. Yeah, I, I don't have anything written down for like what I rate him. I just kind of like try to remember how I felt. Oh, I write, you know? I probably write that shit. <laughs> oh, I know you do, but it's just I try to remember how I felt. And I remember when I watched the original, it was kind of like it's ex- exactly what I remembered it being. And then when I went back and watched the new one, I had seen it one time in the theater with Joe, mm-hmm. and it was just like it was kind of fun seeing some of the stuff over again. It was like okay, yeah, no, I see that, I see that. They had the burn mark, that's fine. Mm-hmm. They had the cut lip, got it. Like I just. Good. Would you recommend either one of these movies anyway? I don't think so. No? Not even not even the old one? I don't think so. I mean again, I think it's if you if you're into westerns, maybe maybe they'll this is up your I don't know, your cup of tea. But if you like the kind of movies I like, then you're probably not gonna be super into this movie. Alright. So Nick, there's only one thing left to do. Oh, uh, okay. What do you think the uh, 2010 True Grit got on IMDb? Um, is this like an Oscar winner one? Probably like 8.1. That's your final answer? Yeah, we'll go with that. 7.6. Okay. And because you asked me, what do you think the Metascore is? Oh, um, how many how many reviews does it have? 41 critics for the Metascore. Okay, so that's probably uh, closer to what that other one was. So we'll say like 79. 79? Yeah. 80. No, real close. Really fucking close. It's once those numbers get to like ridiculous, that's when you get all the weird people coming in. All right, 1969 True Grit. On IMDb, what does that have? What was the other one? 7.6? I'm going to go with um, 7.9. 7.4. Okay, okay. And then what do you think the Metascore is? 75. 83. So I think that the older one was more well received. Um, I still like it's about about sevens for the for the pair of them. I guess I expect that they had the newer one to be more well reviewed. Well, it's Joel and Ethan Cohen. I think those guys are fucking. They're great. They're mm-hmm. great. They're master of storytellers. Um, but I think this one was kind of a departure from what people were used to. For them, so on. Uh, yep. Nope. Maybe is it? No, oh, is it on? Uh, I don't know if the old one would be on Rotten Tomatoes. That might be too old. So I have a True Grit pulled up here. Mm-hmm. And yeah, Gruffold, West Marshall, Rooster Cogburn, Warren Oates. So apparently, there's another fucking version of it. There's out a, there. there's a movie called uh, Rooster Cogburn, which is apparently a sequel. Oh, this one says. 
True Grit 78. Oh. Hmm. So there's another True Grit floating up there that was made in 78, so it's a remake on a remake. Yeah, okay, I guess we missed one. Okay, so here, I found it. Okay. okay. 69, True Grit. What did the critics give it? Uh, 73%. 89. Jeez. Wow, okay. Yeah. How about the audience? Um, 80. 84. All right. So a lot more well received. Yeah. Than for the True Grit 20, with 2010. Jeff Bridges and Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Um, uh, Poor Matt Damon. What did the audience give it? Um, audience? No, critics, sorry. Critics. Um, 81. 95. Jesus Christ. 95. How about the audience? Um, 89. 85. So you're very close. I think you were within five. Yeah, 95. Wow. Yeah. That is not nearly a 95 to me. Yeah? No. I just, I'm, I wasn't into it. And I, I maybe if I watched that one first mm-hmm. and then went to the old one, because I saw what was missing and what was, what was missing I missed and what was added I didn't, uh, well, I wasn't necessarily happy to Steven see. Steven Spielberg was an executive producer. Okay. Congrats. The man just makes magic. Apparently you're just immune to magic. Are you magic resistant, Nick? Of course I'm magic resistant. I have advantage on saving throws against magic. So, I think we've rubbed all the grit out of this one we can. Mm-hmm. Would you would you uh would you would you go and watch the movie with me right now again? The old one maybe. We'll do a super cut. We'll do like the stuff that you missed from the old one we'll we'll add in real quick on the new one and then we'll just go back and like, okay. even I don't I don't know. I'm not I'm not into this movie. Not really. It was fine. I might go back to the old one at some point in time. I'm not going to go back to the new one. Is there any westerns you like? I don't watch a lot of westerns. That's most shit I would catch on TV that my dad was watching. And I'm like, and I'm gone. Because I could go upstairs and just not watch TV. I'm going to have a try. I'm going to have a hard time like beating this drum. So I have to figure out how to make you watch Tombstone. If you ask me to watch Tombstone, I'll watch it. Yeah, but then that's going to be one of my have you seens. Sure. I guess that's fine. Because it's not like I've been digging for like movies on other weeks. Yes, you've kind of been... Have you seen this one? Well, it's like I don't want to make you watch a movie that I know you're not going to enjoy. Because mm-hmm. of course I want you to watch 1985 Transformers the movie. But it's mm-hmm. like I know you're just going to be like, fuck Optimus Prime, fuck Megatron. It's going to be just like five minutes of me like hitting you with something going, stop it! <laughs> enjoy Shut this, your mouth! <laughs> enjoy this movie! And I don't, I don't want that. I, I just think that would be very boring watching. That is Optimus Prime. You put respect in your voice yeah, when you yeah. say his name. You have some respect in your mouth when you speak his name. Um, Peter Cullen is God. Or one of them, adjacent. Um, but yeah, um, thank you. Yeah, thanks for watching. For watching our gritty review. Yep. And, uh, you know, That's if you didn't like it, I'm going to go talk to my lawyer, Daggett. <laughs> and you... He's won several cases that you're going to be... Uh, you're going to be sorry. You're going to be sorry for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, bug just landed on you. Got him. Yeah, thank you. Did I get him? Oh, shit. I didn't get him. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>